when the Osmond's out, you won't make any, any guarantees that he might be next in line. That who might be? Osmond's out. Uh, no. Yeah. No. I, I mean, I, I'm not even thinking about that stuff right now. You know, i got to get back in the office, look at the... You guys in OCOC Mexico uh, that you were going to go down there in November. Is there any update on Cain Velasquez's progress? Um, I talked to him tonight. He said, he's, he said, you know, he's not 100%, but he's feeling good. Diaz was here today. Did you have a chance to talk to him? No. No, I know he, he called for tickets, but I didn't see him or talk to him. He said he wants the winner of 171. Is that even a, a possibility? He wants, he wants the title shot. <laughs> I don't know. He hasn't told me that. Are you still in the, uh, the headspace with Nick Diaz? You, I think the last time we talked about it, you said you told him, well, call me when you're ready. Mm -hmm. that yeah, I saying? haven't heard a word from him. Exactly. How about the Walter Wade picture? You have Rory McDonald with the big win, and of course you have uh, Carlos Condit and Woodley coming up here. Uh, who do you see maybe taking on the... Uh, I don't know. It's interesting. Uh, it's, it's, it's fun. It, that division's fun right now. I've been hard on Rory his last couple fights, but he looked great tonight. I was really happy with his performance. What were your thoughts in the first round? I mean, the first round didn't Yeah, but he was in a full mount by a five-time world champion, and, you know, he got out of it. Took some punches in that round, hung in there. Yeah, he looked good tonight. Hey, what happened on the gate? Did you say earlier in the week you were going to get $2 million? Yeah, I, be the when they just handed me the thing right now, I said, are you fucking shitting me? It's 1.5? Swear to God, I just said that walking in here. Do you That's know what funny. happened? Like, why there was a discrepancy? No. I just found out right when I was walking in, when he just handed me that sheet. Mm. With, uh, Good question, though. With the Tito stepping down as Cyborg's manager, does that really help open up things here for her in the UFC? Uh, it's not. T listen, it's not that Tito. Tito being her manager was whatever. Tito's just. Tito's not a manager. You know, Tito managed his own career into the dirt. You know what I mean? It, it, it's. Uh, I mean, the things that he said, the the infamous amazing press conference that he held that day. The, I mean, his press conference is what did all the damage to her. You know, it's not about it being Tito. Tito Ortiz and I have had a lovely relationship for a very long time, and he still fought in the UFC, and, you know, we still did business. He's not a businessman. He's not a guy that should be running anybody's career. He wasted, how long now has it been for her? He literally wasted, in, in this job, in, in this profession, you have no time to waste. You have to jump on every opportunity and make as much as money as you can make. I'm, I'm assuming, like, he wasted, like, two years of her life and two years of her career. It sounded like, you know, earlier in the week you were kind of against Cyborg, but tonight... It's, it's not that I'm against, it's not that I'm against Cyborg. It's, it's, it's that she, she's, been, she's been put in this box. Tito built this box and stuffed her in there and really hurt her bad. If she goes to 135 pounds, she will die. A doctor said it, a doctor did this, a doctor did that. Who wants to, who wants to have her fight first at 135? Not me. But she's not on your pay no mind list. I mean, if she can get the 135 test clean, obviously. Yeah, let's see. If she stays clean, she gets a couple fights at 135, she's healthy, she's safe, and fights that matter. You don't just get a couple of fights at 135 and come in and step over every girl in the UFC and then get a chance to fight Ronda. You know what I mean? It doesn't make sense. What did you think? Because, you know, Ronda admitted herself she was worried about pay per views. She said, you know, maybe this was too quick of a turnaround for me if people didn't get to miss me. What do you think? In retrospect, did, did it feel this big as when did I think it's awesome. I think it's awesome that she feels that way. Yeah. Yeah. Did you see the main event when that thing went off tonight? Did you see the, the building? Um, Will Smith flew in here. They, him, him and his wife came in and they wanted to meet Rhonda first thing when they got here. That's what they came here for. Flew in from LA to meet Rhonda. Yeah. So yes. The answer is yes. Tell, tell me in the history of combat sports, two women headlining a card that did what tonight does. Okay, if we do if we do 750 pay-per-view buys, still the biggest women's fight ever. What are your thoughts? Uh, and this gate, even where it is, is still a quarter million dollars bigger than her last gate. What are your thoughts on uh, Daniel Cormier right now? The life of it be? Obviously, before he dropped, there was a lot of anticipation about him possibly being a uh, He's already had words with John Jones. Now he's saying, you know, if somebody gets injured, I'll fill in, and that sort of thing. He said he thought he'd have to fight again, but it does seem like there's so much momentum behind him. Maybe in your mind, you'd certainly like to see him back in there soon. I agree. I thought he looked awesome tonight, you know, against the guy that everybody, uh, you know, w was hyping up and talking about, and he, he treated him the way he needed to treat that guy, and he did it. You know, there's a lot of guys that can go in there. We've seen it many times where there's fights where a guy goes in against the tougher, less known guy and doesn't come out looking very good, you know? It's like, well, he didn't look good in that fight. 
well, how's he going to look against this guy? He treated that guy exactly the way he needed to treat him. He looked fantastic. I haven't even heard from Nick Diaz. I don't even. Nick Diaz called and asked for tickets. I don't know. I, I, we haven't even heard from Nick Diaz. It's not even worth talking about. He hasn't fought. He hasn't wanted a fight. And he's, he's not even in the, in, in the pitch. Right. Yeah, but so, so that he should be able to walk right into a title fight? I'm asking you. Okay, then we'll do it. Danny, <laughs> you joked about everybody saying that the end fights were too quick tonight, but in the beginning when there were all the decisions on the prelims and it was starting to, to look like it might be the same as the last two weeks, did you have any concerns? No, they weren't because the second fight of the night was a knockout. Cole was yeah. Great, but the rest yeah. Were Decisions. There was some oh, I don't. What are you gonna do? You can't. You can't sweat that stuff. You can't go crazy about that stuff. It's a live sporting event. Guess what? The last Super Bowl was one of the worst football games I've ever seen. It's supposed to be the best. You know, it doesn't happen that way all the time. We, we were on a crazy, unbelievable streak over the last like year and however long, where every fight was just absolutely insane. And then the next one was even crazier. You get Hart, Hunt and Bigfoot, and then the next one. You know, it just. It doesn't roll that way all the time, you know. We had we had a couple fights with some decisions, and now tonight all the fights were, you know, there's some good quick knockouts. It's going to happen did both the, ways. Did the new bonus structure present any new challenges for you in terms of determining who would get those bonuses? Nope, I not mean, at all. Is it working the way you'd like it to? Because yeah. obviously there's going to be some well, it's, well, The way it works is money goes out the door. Right. That's that's how it works. That's what we... But you've got the option now of rewarding some people who wouldn't have qualified prior. Right. I like it. There's, there's a $10 million pot this year. $10 million bucks. I want every dime of that $10 million to go out to the fighters. I don't want there to be a situation where there's, you know, there was no submission, there was no this, there was no that. And this, this, this setup, it's, it's impossible for a bonus not to go out. Unless, unless the fight sucks so bad one night that we're just like, you know what? Did you guys keep stats of, of how often that happened last year where, where you didn't have a submission or you didn't have a knockout? It didn't seem like it was no, that it only happened a couple times. Yeah. But as I started playing with this thing and started to realize how much money, because now we're doing so many fights, how much money it was, it's almost 10 million bucks. It's like 9.8 million. I want 9.8 million of that to go out the door, every dime of it. So was it your call to change the structure? Was that, your, was that kind of your Yeah, I mean, it, it, yeah, it, was, it was me and Lorenzo. Yeah. Yeah, could, maybe. Yep, anything's possible. We'll see what happens. What do you think about Anderson already getting back and working out? And do you think he might be rushing it? So, or do you think so, he's so the doctor came time? and showed me his bone tonight, right? His legs. And he said, this is, this is actually crazy. Look at all the bone growth that he has in eight weeks. He's like, sometimes you don't see that kind of bone growth in people over a couple of years. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. You're pretty optimistic. Yeah. The doctor was, yeah. What kind of timeline were they giving him? Are you, are they the that he could fight by the end of the year. Do they leave that rod in? Huh? Do they leave that rod in? No, I think, I think they have to take the rod out. Yeah. I don't know that. Don't quote me on that, but I think so. I think they do. Yeah. Oh, well, there you go. Could you give us an idea? Just follow up on that. Oh, they did. Yeah. Commission told him he could keep the rod in. Yeah, I've heard it can go either way, but I don't know if he's made a decision. I think if you take it out, it takes longer to come back. So we got yeah. another operator. Could you, could you give us an idea based on that optimistic news where you're at percentage wise? You mentioned the idea that you know if all things went well, and you know, come back before the end of the year. I mean, has this news drastically improved your your? Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's it's very optimistic. Yeah, you know, we'll see what happens. I mean, anything could happen. He could hurt it again in training, or you know, anything is possible. Or start training and not feel the same. We'll see how it all plays out. We have a we have a meeting with him on Wednesday. That's what I was gonna. What do you think the next mile? Lorenzo and I are going back to his house on Wednesday. Pettis is doing great. He, he, he's he's on schedule, um, healing well, and he's doing fantastic. I don't know. 
I don't know. We got to see how long. You know, it's it's like talking about Kane in Mexico right now. We got to see when these guys heal and when they're ready to fight, and then we'll go from there. One more injury update, if you could. Conor McGregor, how's he coming along? He is coming into LA. I think he's is he here? Yeah. yeah. So he's in LA getting checked out. Good? All right, you guys.